Hi, this is Sam and this is another Pergeos tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will cover the registration workspace. So in this, and we will cover how to register images. So that means if you have, you take in a wet sample and now you dry it out and you take a dry sample, it will allow you to align those two images so you can analyze them simultaneously and compare them to each other. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to file, open data, and we're going to go into data, tutorials, we're going to go to registration, and we're going to select both of those and click open. All right. We're going to also double click on dry to make sure this little eye is displayed in the dry. So now that we're in the registration workspace, we're going to go to data and oil.am. So what this will do is it will display the other image that we want to register with the first one. So there are many different ways we can visualize the two different images. So the first way is using just having it be in two different viewers and have them be synchronized. You can also have them be in the same viewer or we can use something called a color wash. A color wash will wash one, one image's values over another. So with this one, it's washing the oil.am's values over the dry.am's values. And it's just adding them both together to get what we're seeing. So they look pretty closely aligned, but let's say they weren't. So to align them closer, we can use the transform and then we can just double click on this. As you can see, this bounding box appears and this allows you to scale it and rotate the images so they're more closely aligned. But this image is close enough so we will not need to do any transformations on it. So next, we're ready to register the images using a formula. So we're going to go to geometry transformations and we're going to go to register images. So make sure the model is oil.am and the reference is dry.am. So the model is the part we're going to transform to match the reference. So the, this metric is how it's going to tell how close it is to being perfectly aligned. So this is, there's many different ways. I suggest just leaving it here or doing more research by clicking the help button. So next, we're going to need to decide how many axes we're going to need to transform it on. So you can use rigid, which is six axes, ISO, which is seven, and so scale, which is nine, and shear, which is 12. So first thing I'm just going to, we're just going to leave it on Richard for this tutorial. So next, we're just going to click align centers just to make them more closely aligned. And we're going to click align principal axes. Next, we're going to go ahead and click on register. And as you can see, it's computing all the different ways they could look, go together. And let's say I wanted to just try ANSO scale. So I'm just going to try that and show you what happens. As you can see, it now scales instead of doing just Rigid. Okay. Now that we have the images aligned, we need to trans apply the transformation. So to do that, we're going to go to resample transformed images and we're just going to double click on that. And we're going to click apply. So as you can see, the oil drop transformed is right here. And now they're both perfectly aligned. So next we're going to go to the editing workspace. So now the next part of this tutorial is how to visualize the differences in these images. Just so to start out, we're going to go to Arithmic Operations and we're going to go to Subtract Image and we're going to double click on that. So we're going to do oil.transformed minus dry.am and we're just going to click Apply. All right, so now that that's applied, we have this oil.sub and we want to figure out I want to display all these very high intensity values where oil has, where there's a pour in dry and there's no pour in oil. So to do that, I'm going to go up here 
and I'm going to click continuous update. Uh, then I'm going to go and select the inspect option. So now this value is around 2,600. So remember that value for the next part of this tutorial. So next we're going to jump right over to the visualization workspace and we're just going to use, we're going to go to display and we're going to go to ISO surface and we're just going to double click on that. So for this threshold, we're going to type in that number that we found back there. So for me, it's around 2,600. And then we're just going to click do it. So as you can see, it's a 3D representation of all the pores that is now filled. All right, if you want to go into more image segmentation, please click click in the center of the on the right side of the screen if you want to learn about how to automate this process please click on the left side of the screen thanks so much for watching and i hope you have a nice day